welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. I'm really hoping this is going to be a nice, short, sweet, update style vlog. Um, but you never know. Apologies that my hair is slightly greasy. Um, I am prolonging it because I am at Olympia on Friday. Well, it's not Olympia anymore, is it? It's London International Horse Show, but I still call it Olympia. Um, so I'm there Friday, so I'm prolonging the hair washing until tomorrow evening. It's currently Wednesday. Um, so hair's going to be going up in a bun after this. <laughs> um, but I didn't quite realise how bad it was until I started recording. Anyway, so bit of an update um, on the situation at the moment. I had a lesson, a lesson, I had a session with Katie from Integrity Sports Coaching last Monday. Yeah, last Monday. So not Monday, just gone the Monday before. Um, and we were going through all of my goals um, with horses. Well, I say with horses, with riding. And ended up speaking a bit about Olive. And it just made me go for a little trip down memory lane on that e Monday evening. Um, so I went down, had a look at all the old videos and pictures of Olive and obviously came across all the ones for with Gin. And I just sat there and I thought, you know what? We've actually been on such a journey that I am going to do an update because I sort of decided not to do one because I do the channel for myself. I like looking back at the memories and I thought, I know that I had decided that, so why do I need to put it out there? But when I was looking back at the, I, sorry, I just playing with his little hammer toy. Um, so I'm very sorry for the noise in the background. I'm hoping you can still hear me. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I was looking back at all these pictures and everything. And when I was looking at them, I was like, oh, that was the point this happened or that wasn't long after. Lord. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, um <laughs> that wasn't long after like certain things happened. So I thought actually I do notice the clips or the pictures after things have happened or when I've decided things. So I thought actually I'm gonna do an update because it's really nice when I go on YouTube, it's all solely my horse stuff. Um, whereas my camera roll is obviously full of all different memories when I first had OJ, when I was pregnant, um, going out with the girls. So yeah, it's just nice that when I go on YouTube, it's just all solely horse related. So I thought I am going to do this video. Not that I have to justify why I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it because I like to look back at the memories. So um, I'm just going to get straight into it, basically. But obviously, Gin has been... Has been back since June now, and he has done so well. Bless him. I mean, three years ago, I didn't even think I'd ever ride him again. So, the fact that we we're able to get on and go for a ride is just amazing. However, when he first came back, he was naughty in the school, um, which we put down to him being completely overwhelmed with the size of the school because when we went in the lunch pen, he was as good as gold. So yeah, did that for a while. Well, I say that. So I think we did that only for two lessons, to be fair, because we did one lesson solely in the lunch pen because we started in the school and he was just going to take off. So we went in the lunch pen, did a whole lesson in there and he was amazing. The second one, we started in the lunch pen and then at the end of it, we put some, my instructor put some poles out and we did like a circle within the poles. And then we just sort of, the week after that, we again put the poles out, but we did it between two different corners. And then we gradually built up to doing circles around the school. Um, we had never gone solely large. Um, we'd always cut the school off a little bit just until he was getting more comfortable. Anyway, um, he did that for a good few weeks. And then all of a sudden, he just started getting the ump with what we was asking. I think the more pressure we were putting on him, the worse he was getting. Um, and that is one thing with him, the more you push him, he, he won't get better, he'll just get worse. Um, and then I sort of had the feeling, I was like, oh, he's just taking the mickey. Like, just keep trying, he'll get there. And it got to the point, yeah! <laughs> he was being so good before all of this that he was in an outlining walk. Um, which was something I've always worked really hard on with him. <laughs> um, 
but yes yeah, so he was in an outlining walk and he was starting to get the outlining trot he was using his back more like it was just such a better so much better picture and then obviously he started getting the up with everything we was asking of him um even to the point in the end i was asking for an outlining walk which was something he was doing so so well um and he just sort of was like no and he would shoot forward and then try and buck so i've basically made the decision that for him i am going to i'm not aiming to compete him um he's now nine he's never competed a day in his life and he's always been a bit funny within the school um like he's never been as bad as he is now which i do think is genuinely down to he struggles more since he's had that injury which has always been a possibility with the injury he had it's always possible that he will struggle slightly more um and i think that's sort of actually what swayed me because i don't want him doing his injury again he is more than happy out hacking in fact i didn't think a horse could but he seems to excel in hacking <laughs> um i'd put anyone on him really to go hacking because he is just so good don't get me wrong he can still be fresh but he is really good with things that most horses would spook at so basically yeah i've decided that the main aim with him is no longer to compete him i'm not saying that in years to come it's completely written off because if he gets stronger as the years go on and i take him back in the school again and he just sort of goes oh okay then no worries um then obviously amazing maybe i'll take him out to some dressage or something but he still loves his jumping um i'm hoping to still do a little bit maybe not so much me maybe i'll put someone else on him but i'm hoping he'll still do a little bit of jumping here and there but we're basically just gonna have fun uh like i said he i didn't think three years ago that i'd be riding him again so just the fact that i can go for a hack is amazing with him and he loves his hacking it's where he's built all his confidence it's when I lost my confidence because of the accident. It's where I built my confidence with him because, again, he just loves it. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the decision I made. I know 100% it's the right one um, because even looking back at the videos from before his injury in the school, although he was argumentative, he was never as bad as he is now. And I do think that is just down to him being weak um, in general weak because he's had three years off and weak because he has had an injury in one of his hind legs so i do think 100 percent it's the right decision um like i say if he builds builds strength up over a year of hacking then incredible um but obviously i'm not going to push him he doesn't owe me anything i owe him everything so the least i could do is take it back for him um and yeah i'm hoping eventually i'll be able to get another one it's not on the cards at the moment but i'm hoping eventually i'll get another one um something this time that's been there seen it done it so i can just get on and go and have some fun <laughs> uh but yeah so not right now but in the future hopefully um i haven't got much riding footage at the minute like i said all i'm really doing with gin is hacking i've done a few lessons on esther's horses which i'm really really grateful for i've had a couple on cara and um i've now had one on nancy and she is just awesome absolutely love her um yes yeah, so i think i've got another one on her next week but yeah really really happy with how things are at the minute um it took me a while to get to that point because i think i decided this just over a month ago now um and it was hard i know i decided to do it myself but my confidence is so much better now compared to what it's ever been um and oh. <laughs> he's stuck hold on a minute are you stuck
Do you want to come and say hi? Yeah. 